morning. Greetings to everybody. Very happy to see all the familiar faces, names, and beautiful greetings, hearts, smiles. It's wonderful to connect with all of you. And I'm always amazed by this process of uh, Facebook Live. It's just sitting in front of my phone at my, in my home and able to connect with so many of you so frequently in very simple process without traveling, without moving. So it's a wonderful tool. So I'm very happy for that. So today's uh, uh, talk, uh, discussion, uh, it's about uh, Precious James. Uh, witnessing the secret in all you meet. So witnessing the secret in all you meet. Now, I am also very happy to say today, first time we have a, a translation in Chinese. So I think uh, very happy for that. So, and more and more uh, translations are coming. So thank you very much for all of you who have been really dedicatedly working and uh, uh, behind the scene helping many other people there's no other ways to reach those people if there is no translator so I all the tr special thanks to all the translators um, so first maybe a little bit question here is precious James witnessing the sacred in all you meet uh, this is the I think in some sense all we meet in our life do we connect with all we meet. Um, we wanted to connect with people as a human uh, beings we need con social connections. Social connection meant to set is one of the most important for well-being the interaction social interaction social particularly social connection probably the one of the most important thing in our life and uh, so the question is how how is your connection and we all know so well that with when we travel when we uh, go into a new place new building new town new airport immediately we say what's the wi-fi password we all need a password right away why we need a password is it how urgent it is I was uh, just having a conversation yesterday with a friend of mine and um, coming from uh, another part of the world and that part of the world so p people dining table people uh, quite easily use their um, phone so I said maybe this in here is not so good to use the phone uh, while you are eating, while you are meeting with somebody, and he said, "What about uh, some important phone calls? Unless it's urgent, emergency, if nothing is important when you're trying to meet with somebody. Just, just let's sit and share the meal and have a conversation. And I think, in some sense of, uh, we know how disconnected we feel when we are not connected online." I think this is the, everybody knows that connection. I'm not connected, feeling very disconnected. So almost like a feeling not good enough, sense of lost, being anxious, agitations, just because you're not connected to the internet. One time we used to live without the connection to the internet. But of course, on the other hand, Internet is very important. We are right now connected through it. I'm able to share some teachings. All of you are able to listen. We have over 300 people listening to it. We have all these beautiful translations. So we all know the connection, how important it is. So question here is, what do you see? How do you see in yourself? What do you see in yourself? How do you see others in your life? In uh, 
the, so that's important question. How do you feel? Who are you? This moment in your, in your life, who are you? What you identify with? Do you identify with your body? Do you identify with your speech? Do you identify yourself with your thoughts and emotions? Do you identify yourself with your strength, your uh, fear, uh, your potentiality? Do you identify with your pain? Do you identify with your profession? Do, do, do you identify with your religion, your certifications, skills? Got to be something that you identify with this moment. We all know that. But the truth is, you are not that. You're not that. You are not what you identify with this moment. And some point we know, in some point in our life, we will not be what you identify now. Very soon, probably. So, when we lose the sense of connection to ourselves, who we are, then we don't see other people who they are. We don't see people as a people, situation as just a situation. We, we fil see through filter. Imagine somebody walks in your house. It could be your own husband, wife, friends, anybody who immediately looks in your, in, in, walks in the house, sees something is broken, something is wrong, something is, uh, you know, it is immediately seeing something is wrong. Or oh, that is wrong, that is not working, you should not be doing this. Immediately sees wrong things. Even you're looking at your own child, your own husband, wife, brother, sister, you're seeing something wrong in them. Why do you see that? We don't ask that question why we see that. We just see that. We think that's the real, that's the normal. And you, based on that bad mood, you make a comment, you judge someone, you disconnect somebody. So you don't, you're not connected with that person, the sacredness in that person. It's the person, somebody who you love. But that moment, you forgot. You lost the connection. You're seeing something wrong in that person or what something wrong that person did. You don't see the sacredness in that person because you lost the sacredness, connection to the sacredness within yourself, that moment. You make a comment to somebody in that moment, agitated everything. You did not see the sacredness of the silence in that environment, in that relationship. The sacred silence. You lost the connection to that. Why you lost the connection to the sacred silence in that relationship? You lost the sacred connection silence the connection with yourself. In Tantra, it says, uh, we, in the Buddhist tradition, we say, uh, like everything I hear is the mantra. Everything I see is the sacred mandalas of the deities. Everything that I imagine, but I have some sense of thought, these are like a sacred imaginations. If we did not lose the connection, 
to our sacredness in ourselves, who we are. The sacredness is anything you see, you hear, you feel, or even it's an object. When, when that object, like a statue, like an image, sacred image, sacred symbol, sacred mountain, sacred lake, sacred river, sacred stone, sacred book. Anytime when you see them, when they bring you closer to yourself, you to closer to yourself, that is, that object becomes a sacred. That object is a sacred because moment you have a connection with that object, that object bring you closer to yourself. That's why that object is a sacred. When that object make lose your connection to your to yourself, then that's not a sacred. So, is a church, is a temple, is a sacred mountain. That's what we have this connection to the outer outer world. And then the notion of in the, like in a Dzogchen teaching, the notion of Samantha Badra Kuntu Zangpo, all good. Is it possible to see very optimistic, very positive way, even though the world is challenging, difficult? Can we, can we transcend ourselves, lift ourselves from this, all these social conflicts, challenges that we face day to day? Can we see something good in things, even though they are challenging? Can we see something good in the person who is difficult for you? Can we see something positive in your obstacles? Can you see your obstacle instead of obstacle door? Opportunity. Can you see something seems blocking your possibility? Can you see more different possibility, infinite possibility? Can we see sacredness in them? Absolutely. We can see that. If we, if we are not seeing it, if you're feeling you're having a pain relationship, problematic relationship, conflict relationship, if you're aware, conscious of that you are having conflict, you're having, you're facing challenges, you're experiencing pain and trusting there is a solution, trusting that it's not something inherently, inherently, something out there, something inherently wrong, knowing that it has something to do with how you feel in yourself, how you see yourself, how you feel that moment in yourself, how this is linked to your weakness, your fear, your agitation. And that is possible to transform if you reconnect to yourself, the sacredness in yourself, then it's possible to transform that feeling, that thought, that view towards somebody. And you can say something completely different to somebody with, the, with more openness, humorous, asking forgiveness, redirecting discussion, changing whole story. It's possible. Of course it's possible if you recognize what's happening and you re if you trust that you can change, if you have connection to your inner source, to you know, your inner strength and awareness, if you're trying to move from that deep place of all goodness, basic goodness, there is no bad person. I don't believe there is a bad person out there. The good person behave bad. Good people are suffering. 
Good people are lost. Good people are angry. Good people are behaving bad. They are not bad. So don't judge them what they did. Trying to recognize who they are, trying to help them to do differently. Show them, guide them, support them. Witness with silence when somebody is very noisy. So they can recognize more from your silence their, their crazy pain speeches. Let them be aware of their bad actions with your stillness so they can see very clearly in that still, your stillness shows them their behavior. Their bad action can be seen more clearly by being, remaining open and kind and connected, connected and seeing something good in them, even though they are doing something bad that moment. Like children, when something they're behaving not good, the best thing to do is not immediately challenge them, yell at them, but hold the space, see goodness in them, see sacredness in them, see Samanda Bhadra in them, see Buddha in them, see some basic human goodness who they are. So that's how I think uh, there is this uh, opportunity for them to recognize themselves. So that is, I think, some sense of the sacredness. So what is sacredness? Is who you are is a sacred in your body. Who you are in your speech, this, that silence is sacred. Your inner stillness is a sacred. Your pure awareness is a sacred and every object which represents that space, like image of Kundu Zangpo, that's sacred, or crystal, that's sacred. The in indestructible quality of who you are, that Samanda Bhadra, like a Vajra, that's sacred, object, sacred object. A mountain would represent the heart of some enlightened being. That's sacred. Mountain is sacred because it's representing that enlightened quality of somebody. This, what is sacred? Is the sacred is the truth. Truth is the sacred. The forms represents the sacredness. So let's not forget what is is sacred what things which represent what is or the or the truth is sacred but not that more not more important than who we are what truth is because the reason why i'm saying that is sometime in the world today every religion in some sense i think every religion has access to truth they have the truth and truth has, the same truth has some sense of rip, explain, uh, present it in a different ways. And, and then there's the images which re represents those truth. And sometimes these images becomes more important. Messenger becomes more important than the message. Images becomes more important than what images represents. The conflict of many religions, or even between two people, start with the forms and the images, and ideas, ideologies. Not what truthly who they are. They're just two people seeking for happiness, looking for connection, and they're trying to connect with each other, 
fighting for their notion of the truth in a very conceptual way, arguing about it. And they don't even recognize in the process they're losing connection to each other. You, you go and trying to have a date with somebody, trying to meet somebody for a cup of coffee that you have not seen for a long time. You, what you really wanted to do is connect and what you really did is argue. And who is right, who is wrong. We do that all the time. Because we don't see the sacredness in each other. Who that person is. So some sense of this idea of sacredness is, is sacredness is who you are. You are sacred. You are good. You are kind. You are strong. You are unbounded space. You are infinite awareness. You are infinite possibility. Sometime we don't feel, sometimes we don't behave that way, sometimes we act not, not right because we lose the connection to that sacredness. So, so what, when, you, when we lose that connection, so how you feel in yourself is what you really see outside yourself. Idea of you walk in the house, you see everything is wrong. This is wrong, that is wrong. You see all the wrong things because you are feeling wrong that moment. You are not feeling good that moment. So you have to recognize it's not everything is wrong. Even though it looks like everything is wrong, even if there's a lot of space for improvement, but that experience is not something everything is wrong, the way you're seeing, experiencing that moment. You're losing the sacredness in things because you're feeling not good that moment. Recognition, recognizing that, being aware of that, being conscious of that, that moment will change whole stories. You're able to see immediately differently. Oh, there's not something wrong there. Yes, something can be improved, but I can, I can do it. I can fix it. If, if something is broken in the kitchen, not blaming who is in the kitchen, but some, you knowing that you have ability to fix that something is broken. Maybe it, it's the truth that something is broken. Maybe it's the truth that something needs to be fixed. But that is not true that you have to make that moment opportunity to connect with somebody and that to losing the connection and blaming somebody. That, that's not necessary. Instead, it's possible that you recognize something is needed to be fixed and you recognize you have ability to fix, you recognize it's a, such a joy to fix somebody's kitchen, something, something kitchen. It becomes, becomes a source of creativity and joy and fixing things, taking care of things, rather than breaking more, disconnecting more, feeling more pain. It doesn't have to be like that. If we recognize that. So let's do a, a short practice here. So this sense of Kunduzangpo, uh, Kunduzangpo, uh, all good, all good. Um, in life, I think uh, whatever situation we are in, we are all are in a different situation in our life. And we need to, to respect each other of the, on that. You are maybe like um, your relationship to your parents. It's a very simple. What, when you look at your parents' eye in their face, when you are with them, what do you see? Do you see something sacred in them? Do you see your pain in them? Do you see long family pain history? What do you see in them? Or 
parent looking at their child. What do you see in their children? Do you see this beautiful, full of potential, innocent person? What do you see? Or between husband and wife couples, what do you see in each other? Between the students and teachers, what do you see in each other? Between friends, what do you see in each other? Between business partners, colleagues, what do you see in each other? What do you see in the other person? Reason why I'm saying this, maybe, maybe these are the people we see so frequently in our life. They are, they are so close in our life. But it's important to know what do you see? Who are you? Who, who you are with? If you see a reflection, I say, if you see your pain in the people, these people, and not knowing it's your pain, not these people's pain, you accumulate together. That's how people live in many harmful, harmful, harmful relationship exist in that their relationship is about a pain relationship. There is a, there is a need for light of awareness to illuminate those darkness simply by recognizing that so that we can all see feel the sacredness within ourselves that means feeling being aware of who we are and that help us to see that awareness will help to see who other people are, who they are, not what they did, uh, what, who they are not, who they are. A human, like exactly like yourself, no different. Or enli enlightened being quality in themselves. So, so I think maybe uh, to just to conclude a little bit here is some sense of kind of recognizing the sense of sacredness, uh, sacredness uh, in others. Everything what you see, everything what you encounter, everything what you feel, and ultimately who you are. You are sacred. You are that infinite possibility. You are that uh, pure light. You are that pure awareness. You are that all good, you are that sense of Samantha Bhadra. Uh, so that, that sense, I think it's important to recognize. So let's sit together for a moment. I will uh, play the Salivir Mantra. I think it's uh, very important that we all uh, silently rest and connect and that silent, Resting and connection is the best way of dissolving the, all the pain, agitations, and stories. And um, yeah, so, so let's dissolve everything what you're experiencing this moment in your life. The pain, agitation, energies, and stories in your body, pain, energies, and stories in your speech or argument and, uh, with others within yourself, uh, pain stories, a lot of imagination of pain, fears um, that you are feeling, you are thinking, you are, uh, and also you are kind of uh, changing your mood, manifesting from that. Let's just be aware of everything what is there and, and, and silently resting. Trust that this awareness of the silence, awareness of the stillness, awareness of the openness in your heart will dissolve all of them and especially a collective power of practice that we are all 
practicing together this moment all around the world it's a beautiful uh, ways of feeling this deep connection with everybody uh, even though you're sitting alone so uh, just feel that and then uh, I will in the end I will guide a little short practice okay
as you're resting deep, non-conceptually, with the pure awareness, not with any effort, not with the sense of dualistic self who is trying to meditate. It will help to dissolve all the stories. Feel that sacred space in which all these stories has dissolved, purified, processed. Feel the connection to that sacred space within. Be aware of the silence in that sacred space within. Be aware of infinite possibility in that sacred space within. From that sacred space, with the eyes of light, eyes of awareness, see the sacredness in others, particularly people who you are close but not feeling connection. Able to see who they are from this experience and awareness of who you are. Able to see their goodness, their sacredness. Meet that, connect with that for a moment and allow all the positive qualities, exchange, interaction, sharing from that connection with those people, this moment in your life. Trust that. Trust that this moment, we all are helping each other. I'm sending my support to all of you and I'm open to feel the support from all of you and feel the connection. So feel that openness toward everybody in this moment we're practicing and all the others. Give, the, give that support, feel that support from them. Just rest for a moment. Okay. So how is the meditation? How are you experiencing yourself? How you're feeling in yourself? How you are seeing the others? I'm not talking about the whole world. I'm talking about the people you are so close to but not having enough connection with. Your parents, your children, your partner, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, your teacher, your student, your colleague, your neighbor, your business partner. These all are people our that we 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 are close to them, but not necessarily we are we have a connection in a deeper connection with them. Not because anybody is wrong or everybody is good, everybody is Samantha Badra. 
as I said, a good person lost the connection to the goodness and for temporarily behaving bad. Maybe you feel that towards somebody, maybe somebody is feeling that towards you, but in the, on the end, all is good. Kuntu Zangpo. So hope that you will continue uh, trying to see this way and feel that way. Thank you. So uh, it was uh, wonderful for this uh, moment, precious moment, uh, able to share with all of you in a very nice, peaceful, from nice, peaceful place from this, this magical iPhone to wherever you are. Thank you.